Question 1. What should you do to prevent skidding before entering a curve? Option A. Slow down by applying the brakes. Option B. Speed up by pressing the gas pedal. Option C. Shift to a lower gear. Correct answer. Option A. Slow down by applying the brakes. To avoid skidding, it's advised to slow down before entering a curve, thus avoiding the need to brake while you're in the curve. Braking during a turn can cause your vehicle to skid. Question 2. When driving at a slower speed than the flow of traffic, you should. Option A. Stick to the lane farthest from the road's shoulder. Option B. Remain in the lane closest to the road's left side. Option C. Stay in the lane closest to the road's right side. Correct answer. Option C. Stay in the lane closest to the road's right side. If you choose to drive slower than other traffic, drive in the right lane. Question 3. Your traffic convictions and collisions stay on your record for, or longer, depending on the type of conviction. Option A. 24 months. Option B. 36 months. Option C. 12 months. Correct answer. Option B. 36 months. Traffic convictions and collisions stay on your record for 36 months or longer, depending on the type of conviction. As an adult, your license may be suspended if your driver's record shows one of the following point totals. 4 points in 12 months. 6 points in 24 months. 8 points in 36 months. Question 4. If your vehicle breaks down and you cannot move it completely off the road, where should you stop? Option A. Middle of a curb. Option B. Stop it where your vehicle can be seen from behind. Option C. Top of a hill. Correct answer. Option B. Stop it where your vehicle can be seen from behind. If your vehicle breaks down and you can't get it entirely off the road, Stop where your vehicle can be clearly seen from behind. Question 5. In which circumstances should you maintain extra space between your vehicle and the one ahead? Option A. When the driver behind you is trying to pass. Option B. When the vehicle in front of you is a large truck. Option C. Both scenarios mentioned above. Correct answer, option C. Both scenarios mentioned above. It's always safer to maintain a larger following distance when dealing with potentially risky drivers or vehicles. So, increase your distance when the driver behind wishes to pass or if the vehicle ahead is large or heavy. Also, during adverse road conditions, such as slippery roads, it's wise to maintain extra distance. Question 6. NEVUs only lanes are designated for vehicles that Option A. Are allowed to travel faster than the rest of the traffic. Option B. Are exclusively for carpooling. Option C. Are slow moving and restricted for neighborhood use. Correct answer. Option C. Are slow moving and restricted for neighborhood use. Question 7. You must not follow within feet of any emergency vehicle with a siren or flashing lights. Option A, 400. Option B, 300. Option C, 200. Correct answer option B, 300. It is against the law to follow within 300 feet of any fire engine, law enforcement vehicle, ambulance, or other emergency vehicle when their siren or flashing lights are on. If you're enjoying this content, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends who might find it helpful. Question 8. To avoid last-minute moves, look down the road at least. Option A. 10 seconds. Option B. 5 seconds. Option C. 20 seconds. 
Correct answer, option A, 10 to 15 seconds. To give yourself time to react, avoid last-minute moves and hazards, always keep your eyes moving and scan the road at least 10 seconds ahead of your vehicle. Question 9. When there are three lanes to choose from, choose lane for the smoothest driving. Option A, the left. Option B, the middle. Option C, the right. Correct answer. Option B, the middle. Question 10. How will you know it is safe to merge back in front of a vehicle you have just passed? Option A. The vehicle's headlights are visible in your rearview mirror. Option B. You can make eye contact with the driver in your side mirror. Option C. You do not see the vehicle out your side window. Correct answer. Option A. The vehicle's headlights are visible in your rearview mirror. Question 11. When arriving at an intersection, you should first look, because Option A, to the right, vehicles coming from the right, have the right of way. Option B, to the left, vehicles coming from the left, are closer to you. Option C, to the right, vehicles coming from the right, are closer to you. Correct answer, option B, to the left, vehicles coming from the left, are closer to you. Question, 12. When is it legal in California, to make a left turn against a red light? Option A. Only during times indicated by signs. Option B. When transitioning from a one-lane road, to a two-lane road. Option C. When moving from a one-way street onto another one-way street. Correct answer, option C. When moving from a one-way street onto another one-way street. You may turn left against a red light when you are turning from a one-way street onto a one-way street. Make sure there is no sign prohibiting the turn. Yield to other vehicles, pedestrians, or bicyclists who have a green light. Look both ways and turn when it is safe. Question 13. When passing a bicyclist on a two-lane road, how much space must you leave between your vehicle and the bicycle? Option A, 5 feet. Option B, 3 feet. Option C, 15 feet. Correct answer, option B, 3 feet. Question 14. A driver must for a school bus that is stopped with its red lights flashing on the opposite side of the road. Option A. Move fast. Option B. Reduce speed. Option C. Come to a complete stop. Correct answer. Option C. Come to a complete stop. When the bus flashes red lights, located at the top, front, and back of the bus, you must stop from either direction until the children are safely across the street and the lights stop flashing. Remain stopped while the red lights are flashing. If you fail to stop, you may be fined up to $1,000 and your driving privilege could be suspended for one year. Question 15. When stopped behind another vehicle on a hill, you should stay back at least. Option A, one vehicle length. Option B, three vehicle lengths. Option C, two vehicle lengths. Correct answer, option A, one vehicle length. Question 16. Occurs on wet roads when your front tires start to ride on water instead of on the road. Option A, weaving. Option B, velocitizing. Option C. Hydroplaning. Correct answer. Option C. Hydroplaning. Hydroplaning occurs when driving in wet or rainy conditions. Hydroplaning is a vehicle riding on water because the tires lose all contact with the road. A slight change of direction, applying the brakes, or a gust of wind could throw the vehicle into a skid. 
Question 17. If you double your speed on a highway, your braking distance increases by Option A, four times. Option B, three times. Option C, two times. Correct answer, option A, four times. Question 18. You are approaching an exit ramp on a freeway with double solid white lines on your left side. What should you do? Option A, slow down and cross the lines to prepare for the exit. Option B, maintain your lane and exit when you see a single broken white line. Option C, speed up to pass other vehicles before the lines end. Correct answer. Option B, maintain your lane and exit when you see a single broken white line. Even near an exit, crossing double solid white lines is unsafe and illegal. Wait until you see a designated exit lane with appropriate markings. Question 19. If you are changing lanes, preparing to pass another vehicle, or entering traffic, signal and check for passing traffic by using your mirrors. Then. Option A. Check for oncoming traffic. Option B. Check the front of your vehicle. Option C. Check your vehicle's blind spots. Correct answer. Option C. Check your vehicle's blind spots. Before you change lanes, check your blind spots for other vehicles, motorcyclists, and bicyclists. Do not let the vehicle drift into another lane. Question 20. What is the correct hand signal for indicating a right turn? Option A. Hand and arm extended downward. Option B. Hand and arm extended upward. Option C. Hand and arm extended backward. Correct answer. Option B. Hand and arm extended upward. Question 21. If a tire suddenly goes flat while driving, you must. Option A. Try to stop your vehicle on the road. Option B. Try to move to the left side of the road. Option C. Hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle straight. Correct answer. Option C. Hold the steering wheel tightly and keep the vehicle straight. If your vehicle's tire suddenly blow out and accelerator malfunction one, turn on your emergency flashers. 2. Hold the steering wheel tightly and steer straight ahead. Question 22. This diamond shaped sign warns that Option A. A windy road is ahead. Drivers should follow the directions. Option B. There is a gravel road with sharp curves ahead. Drivers must proceed carefully. Option C. The road is slippery when wet. Drivers must go slow. Correct answer. Option C. The road is slippery when wet. Drivers must go slow. Question 23. The wide white line painted across a traffic lane before an intersection is known as a Option A, crosswalk line Option B, limit line Option C, yield line Correct answer, Option B, limit line A limit line is a wide white line that shows the drivers where to stop before an intersection or crosswalk. If there is no limit line, stop before you enter the crosswalk. Question 24. Which of the following signs represents two-way traffic? Correct answer. Image B. Image B represent the two-way traffic. Question 25. What is the minimum property damage coverage requirement for an auto insurance policy on a California vehicle? Option A, $30,000. Option B, $20,000. Option C, $5,000. Correct answer, Option C, $5,000. In California, your insurance must cover at least $15,000 for a single death or injury. $30,000 for death or injury to more than one person. 
$5,000 for property damage. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more DMV written test questions. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, and don't forget to share it with others who might benefit from it. Your support means a lot to us.